We are still talking about the trade implications between the Chicago Bears and the Carolina Panthers and how the Carolina Panthers seemingly got their quarterback of the future, who, by the way, is turning out to be potentially C.J. Stroud over Bryce Young and how that affects the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions will have an option to get a player that they wouldn't have had to had a chance to get before because now the Chicago Bears, who don't need a quarterback, said they don't, are not going to be in the mix. So with that being said, Fan Nation, all Lions, decided to do a post-combine, post-blockbuster trade mock draft. These names here, one is a bit of a surprise, and the other one honestly is a surprise, but I know a lot of you in the comment section have not given up yet and would like to see this young man a Detroit Lion. So without further ado, let's find out who Fan Nation has the Detroit Lions picking in the first round. With the sixth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Jalen Carter, defensive tackle, Georgia. Here's what Fan Nation had to say. With the sixth overall pick, the Lions add Georgia Bulldog, defensive tackle, Jalen Carter. The Lions should have Will Anderson and Tyree Wilson on their radar, but Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes will certainly have a thorough understanding of Carter's legal situation. According to the Sport News, Carter, even without a combine workout, has done plenty to show that he can be a dominant disruptor in the Aaron Donald mode. Now, for me, I personally know a lot of you in the comment section that want Jalen Carter, and I do not believe that the Detroit Lions are going to take him. There comes a time where you have to weigh talent versus character. It just doesn't seem like something Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell would do. However, there is a caveat to that. If Jalen is found guilty of the misdemeanor charges, I could see really don't see the Lions taking him. If he's not found guilty, I think the chance would be higher. Just the mere thought of him being involved in something like that, for me, I don't think that puts him on our team's radar. But I know a lot of you in the comment section, no matter it seems like no matter what this young man does, he you guys want him at all cost. So if he falls to us. Whenever he's there, if he's there, pick him. So those are my thoughts. I don't think the Detroit Lions are going to take Jalen Carter. I think it's it's worse if he's guilty, but we will see. But I know a lot of you guys like him. So without further ado, let's get it going. With the 18th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select safety Brian Branch out of Alabama. I This is a pick that I didn't see coming. I don't think I've ever seen him mock to us in any of Todd McShay or Mel Kuyper's drafts. But here is what they had to say about Mr. Branch. Branch is a top 10 talent, but will slip a little based on the fact he's more of a nickelback and inside cover guy, writes Vinny Iyer. But he proved he should be at least a top 20 pick, a solid all-around workout at the Combine. So they missed the word with. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> so a miss or they, they need to start proofreading this stuff because it's it's horrible the way that they miss this stuff. Now, for me personally, I don't I like the two defenders, but I'm kind of leaning toward B. John Robinson in with the 18th pick. Because the way that I see it is this we still have free agency to go through. The Lions could get a second tier secondary person that's if we don't trade for Jalen Ramsey and like I said in yesterday's video Jalen Ramsey is still a possibility until he's not but let's say we don't trade for Jalen Ramsey we could get Cam Sutton we could get uh Jamil Dean so it's some guys that we can make a move for now will that mean that we're not going to take a cornerback that's not what that means but it could mean that they we don't take one that high so I could see a my prediction is I could see a deep defensive tackle, defensive end with pick six. And then I could see if B. John Robinson is still on the board. I could I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions did that. Just kind of out of the box, out of the blue, uh, selecting B. John because I think that DeAndre Swift is B. John is going to go further than the secondary pick. DeAndre Swift is not going to be on this team in a year, most likely, right? So we're going to need someone to carry that mantle. If we get, and if we get Bijan at 18, he can do that. The, the player that we take at six, he's going to be around for a long time. And with him most likely being on the defensive line, if he's on a defensive line, he can help the secondary by wreaking havoc 
on the quarterback. So that's just my opinion, but let me know what you think of Brian Branch and Jalen Carter. I know a lot of you still are in love with this guy. You want him at all costs. What did you think of Fan Nation's post-combine, post-trade mock draft? It was eh, eh, it was okay. I, I don't I don't think either of those things happened. So let me know what you think in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. So consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Trying to get to, I don't know, 8,400 by Monday when free agency kicks off. We'll be live for that. We'll also be live for the NFL draft. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.